Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to give you another good update on Tony, but also continued need for prayer. Trisha writes that um, she finally heard from Tony's doctor, said she's very nice, easy to talk to, and this is their verdict, she says. The staff put him through a list of possible causes for his memory issues. Everything came back negative. The MRI showed no sign of any, she put story, but I'm sure it's a typo, of any fill in the blank. <laughs> it also, thanks be to God, showed no permanent damage from the lack of oxygen. We can praise the Lord for that. All right. Here's the thing. He's still having some memory issues, but nothing like yesterday. So this came to me yesterday at 4.05. But I was already on a call with Grafted In Team Jesus. Um, boy, we went over a lot of things. I should be able to share some of them with you. I mean, they don't mind if I share everything, but it would just uh, be very time consuming. Um, but anyway, and I'm sorry to the person that wanted me to do a video on the scriptures that talk about us coming back. And I forgot to ask her uh, that question, but I, right off the bat, I can tell you, I'm thinking it's in Ezekiel, where it's talking about they will stay in rank. In other words, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have ranks like there will be a general colonels, sergeants, private, first class, and whatever. And we will scale the walls and do great exploits. Now, as far as I know, that's never happened. It could, you know, are they talking about a war? They scaled the walls. Uh, it just, the whole, that whole section sounds like what we're going to be doing when we're here. Also, when Jesus said, um, greater things than these shall you do. Nobody has ever yet done greater things than Jesus. The apostles probably did similar things, healed people, saved them, you know, told them the gospel and saved them got them saved and baptized and so forth, but they didn't do greater things than Jesus did. Nothing was said about them walking on water or whatever. And a lot of what we have, the knowledge we know, has come from dreams and visions. Remember and messages that when Daniel received a lot of uh, the, the prophecy he received at that one instance in particular he was told to seal it up for it was for a time at the end that the understanding of what he got was not going to be released until the end and it could only be released through dreams and visions and messages so Kathy herself had a vision of us or part of the bride that comes back dressed in armor walking out of a nuclear explosion. It was just, it had exploded, there was fire all over and we were walking or some of us, whoever they were, were walking out in, in the form of like a triangle, like there was the leader and a couple behind and four, like think of bowling pins, lined up like bowling pins, marching out of this, well, we were walking out. She didn't say marching. We're just walking out of this explosion. We weren't harmed at all. 
and and she's not the only one. I remember a lady who talked about a dream. She said she was somewhere near Hollywood, <clears throat> and she <clears throat> came upon and uh, was coming upon an apartment building that was clearly uh, damaged from the earthquake and and about to crumble. And some well-dressed woman, if I'm remembering this right now, came running to her and recognized that she was somehow sent by someone to help because of her outfit. Uh, she, the lady who had the dream explained it as armor made of pearl. It looked like pearl to her. Okay, so... She's walking up to this apartment complex. It was not big. It looked like it held six to eight families, maybe. One of the smaller kind, this particular building. And the woman was yelling, Come over here. Come over here. We need your help. This building's about to fall in. I need your help. So the woman comes up and, and she, she says, Yes, I've been sent here to help. And she, the woman... Uh, and her go in and they go up the stairs and she heads, the woman having the dream, heads to this one particular apartment. And the woman goes, no, 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 don't save them. Save all these, save all the rest. It turned out the woman was the apartment manager of a wealthy, uh, it was in a real nice apartment building. And the people that took care of it and did all the work were allowed to live there for less rent or free or whatever. She was sent there to help them because they were in their apartment praying. And you know how you just know things in dreams. Some of it is told. Some of it you hear. Some of it is just sort of downloaded into your spirit. So she opens the door. She gets these people out. And the whole thing collapses on everybody else. Isn't that something? So that was a dream that somebody had. I remember that one. And anyway, I will ask Kathy. I will do that. In fact, let's do it right now. I'll do it right now. I'll see if she's got a folder of scriptures. I'm pretty sure she does. Subject. Scriptures. Um about us coming back to help people. All right. Do you have a folder or file with scriptures on this in your computer? If you do, could you email it to me uh, I'll just put, thank you so much for your time because I know she's real busy like me but she would be glad to send that on and I'm pretty pretty sure she has that okay I really do. I would love to make a video on that. Okay, so anyway, the good news about Tony. Now, prayer requests needed for him is they can't get his blood pressure down. And as many of you know, and this was something I didn't mention when I gave the lists, was about the memory problem. Also, if you have your own 
blood pressure cuff or you take it at a local drugstore on a regular basis and it's staying too high, you need to let your doctor know. And if it's like above 160 on top, see, it depends on a person. Some people chronically live with the lower number at 100, but that's really too high. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't go to the emergency room for it, but I definitely would call my doctor. Um, because it's supposed to be 120 over 70 in that neighborhood. 130 over 90 is now considered too high. They, they used to say those were the boundaries, 130 over 90, but now they're saying that's too high. 120 over 80 is acceptable, but they'd like it to be lower than 120. I think it's to give more medicines. Personally, if you eat well and exercise, that should bring your blood pressure down. You could even research holistic uh, medicines that you could take. I think black seed oil and turmeric taken together. You take those as directed on the bottle. What's the right dose? That should help if you're, I'm talking about if you're borderline or less. Not if you're 150 over 100. You call your doctor. If a holistic method and losing weight and all that can help you great but in the meanwhile you're going to need to get on something or you're risking at least a minor stroke which isn't as bad but it can do some damage okay so his blood pressure is too high that's why they've still got him he still hasn't come home he's staying tonight and they need to find the right medication and dosage for him. Okay? So please, prayer warriors, say another prayer for Tony because he needs to get the medication right. He keeps watching the news about Trump, and a lot of people are. They wanted Trump to win. And, you know, the, the Associated Press and other news outlets have... Declare Biden the winner. Well, they can't declare anything. They have to do the proper recounts. And um, oh, I've got a, I've got something to read to you. I'll make a separate video on it. There's a, a prophecy someone got from the Lord where he said Trump is the winner. Okay, so I'll leave this go. And um, I'll let you go with that, and I will talk to you again later. Okay, bye. Bye for now.